SAV's Spring Fling was a big success. And KNWD gets new management. Welcome back to our last newscast of the semester. I'm Brandi Vincent. And I'm Olivia Martzell. Thank you for joining us. Your news starts now. SAB hosted their annual Spring Fling last week at Prather Coliseum. Let's take a look at how the event turned out. Last week on April 10th at 5 p.m. at Prather Coliseum, the Students' Activities Board held their annual Spring Fling event. We spoke with SAB's executive rep who planned this event for the students and told us how students could become SAB members in the future. The best way to get involved in SAB, like if you come in in the fall, we usually have elections with SGA so you just have to apply and then you have to go to a meeting for our informational and then after that the school-wide elects who are our new members. We asked SAB member Gabe White how he became a member of this organization. I just saw it through my email and throughout my email I found a friend who wanted to do it with me and with that I just went to the meeting and they told me how to do it. I applied for it and I gave my speech and I became on the board. We asked freshman Hanaj White how he found out about Spring Fling 2013 and what he thought about the event. SAB, I got some friends in it. They came and told me about it, and uh, I just came to check it out. It was on Twitter and Facebook. This is my first Spring Fling, first second semester in college. It's been great. I'm having so much fun. I'm really enjoying myself. SAB's public relations rep, Alexis Williford, is next in line to plan Spring Fling 2014. She gives us a sneak peek of what to expect. I'd probably want to take it back outside next year, but might change the theme for a little bit. And of course, at first I wasn't going to bring a mechanical bull, but it seems to be a hit. For NSU TV, this is Angelica Kotu. A few weeks back, NSU students came out big to help support St. Jude's, and we thought it was too big of a story to overlook. This past semester, the Student Activities Board hosted the fourth annual Up Till Dawn St. Jude's fundraiser on Northwestern's campus. Up Till Dawn is a collegiate fundraising program for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And uh, what it actually is, it's a letter writing campaign where students, um, student organizations, and uh, groups of students come together to write letters that are pre-written um, from St. Jude. Um, and they fill out these letters and they send them to loved ones, friends, family, coworkers and those people who receive these letters donate and return those letters to St. Jude. And North one other great fact about St. Jude is that it costs $1.8 million to run the hospital per day. And that, that expense is primarily covered by public contributions like the funds we raise here at Up Till Dawn. Um, and it's, it's a magical thing that we've raised $100,000 for these kids and that offsets the cost. And that's what makes it, makes it possible for the parents not to have to pay a dime. Over 900 students participated in the event, raising $7,000 for St. Jude's. The, the event has grown by 50% since we first started, and um, we, we average about $30,000 per year, and we write about 9,000 letters per event. So it's something that caught on at the campus, and that's grown to be something huge and our largest service event on the campus. Find out how you can get involved in Up Till Dawn 2014 by going to the Student Activities Board page on Northwestern's website. For NSU News, I'm Lizzie Hilgerson. Taking what you learn in the classroom and applying it to a job situation while in school is what an internship is all about. The Communications Department has three students that are getting that experience. Other ideas for this spring semester, an organization uh, called Community Renewal, Renewal International um, sponsored well, an internship here at NSU. And I felt like that obviously students working on campus would be a good source of people with ideas that, that understand the rights and the wrongs of what's going on on the campus mm -hmm. probably better than, than most of us in faculty or administration can do. And that an internship was, was a logical extension of that. But what is Community Renewal? Community Renewal is a program that seeks to strengthen communities, 
the issue that community renewal addresses is that I might know people all around the world, but I might not even know my next door neighbor. And if I did know my next door neighbor and a lot of my neighbors, it would help me to have someone local that I could go to when I need anything or when I just need someone to talk to. And through that, my myself and my neighbors, we would be friends. And if we were all friends and we knew each other, there would be a less likelihood of crime going on in my neighborhood because we would want to defend each other and help each other, and we would certainly not want to do any wrong acts against each other. The internship has focused on the We Care initiative, which seeks to connect individuals through the good deeds they do every day. Through all of this, our, our main objective at this point is to hold a uh, event here on uh, NSU's campus and the purpose of this event is to help spread the word about community renewal and what We Care is all about. Um, for the We Care initiative, we've just partnered with Community Renewal in Shreveport and we're working um, with them to piggyback off the purple and white game later on this month and um, just pass out cards and um, really do a membership drive for community renewal and the We Care process. The goal of it is to help people at NSU, students, but not just students, but anyone and everyone to be more centered on their community and more centered on knowing their neighbors and with that wanting to give back to their communities and wanting to lend a helping hand to those around them. That's what We Care is all about, and that's what Community Renewal is all about. The event will be held this Saturday, April 20th at 12 p.m. in Turpin Stadium during the Joe Delaney Bowl. For NSU News, I'm Jessica Dodd. Jessica, can you tell us how long this rain will be for tonight? It should be over by tomorrow. I'll have more, for that, more of that on for you next. It could have been half a century ago. Or maybe it was just last spring. It doesn't matter how long ago you graduated, because here, you're still family. No matter where your education has taken you, or how much you think things have changed, Northwestern is still home. Wouldn't you like to receive an Ivy League education at a fraction of the cost? The Louisiana Scholars College is here to give you just that in a close-knit learning environment. Established in 1987 as the state's designated honors college, the Louisiana Scholars College continues to offer a unique, comprehensive, and interdisciplinary curriculum that helps hundreds of students excel beyond the rest in the professional world. The Scholars College seeks highly motivated students who are willing to experience new ideas in pursuit of their education. Expand your mind without expanding your wallet. When you come to the end of your educational journey, keep your NSU connection by becoming an active member of the NSU Alumni Association. As a part of the NSU Foundation Incorporated, the Alumni and Student Alumni Association have been working together to aid students through their studies while enhancing student involvement and instilling a sense of tradition in the university's students and alumni. For more information, visit NorthwesternAlumni.com or stop by the Alumni Center to keep that demon spirit alive. Ever wanted to travel abroad and climb the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France? Boat on the waterways of Venice, Italy. Visit the famous castles of Bavaria, Germany. Or relax on the sandy beaches of Sydney, Australia. While earning class credit at the same time, these locations and opportunities are offered to you as an NSU student, regardless of your major. For more information, contact the Family and Consumer Sciences Department, and you can be on your way. Hi, I'm Jessica Dodd. Welcome back to NSU News. Let's take a look at our Demon Doppler radar. Obviously, we have a cold front moving in. That's why we're having all this rain right now. Uh, t currently, temperature is at 83 and humidity of 68. Dew point is 71 and winds are coming in from the south at 14 miles an hour. 
Our national satellite, obviously, the, we're not the only ones getting this storm. It's from, from the south all the way up into New England area. Our national temperatures, we've got San Francisco is at 70 degrees, El Paso at 62, Brownsville at 96 degrees, New Orleans at 81, New York is very nice at 58 degrees. Uh, and our regional satellite, yet again, the storm front is moving in, should be over by tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, San, San Angelo is nice and sunny at 64, but Houston is having rain along with us at 60 degrees. New Orleans, partly sunny at 81 degrees. Huntsville, also partly sunny at 83 degrees. And our Louisiana temperatures, Shreveport, again, nice 52 degrees. And here in Natchitoches, 63 degrees. Alexandria, 83 degrees. Lake Charles, 78 degrees. Baton Rouge is very hot at 82 degrees, but a little bit hotter than New Orleans at 81 degrees. Tonight, it's going to be more rain and a low of 43 degrees. Tomorrow, we're going to get some sun back with a high of 66 degrees. Our five-day forecast Friday is going to be nice and sunny with a high of 66 and a low of 47. Saturday, more sun with a high of 71 and low of 38. Sunday, more sun with a high of 76 and a low of 45. Monday, we're going to be getting more clouds with a high of 80 and a low of 54. Tuesday, the rain will be back with a high of 77 and a low of 62. For Anissi News, I'm Jessica Dodd. You and her and all the other cousins would be having tea parties in her playhouse out back. Hi, I rehearsed trying to convey the right emotion, so please don't cause a commotion and mess me up. Thanks. I spend countless hours moving with Grace, so please be careful with flashing cameras. They can be distracting. Grace, thy steps retrace for a wandering one. I spend countless hours trying to perfect my pitch, so please silence your cell phones. I want to be heard. Please adhere to the rules so we can put on our best performance for you. The time has come for you to make the big decision about where you will attend college. If Northwestern State is the place you want to go but do not have all the requirements necessary to attend NSU, then don't give up hope. You can still come to Natchitoches and take classes on campus at Bossier Parish Community College at NSU. Bipsy at NSU is here to help students start their college career and reach admission requirements for Northwestern. Bipsy at NSU, excellence in education and service. Northwestern State University of Louisiana encourages education, research, and action focused on the environment, energy conservation, and sustainability. Also, as part of this initiative, NSU promotes a healthy student body campus and community. NSU is proud to support thinking and acting in an environmentally responsible way. at KNWD, the campus radio station. But does that mean changes? NSU News has the story. Since 1973, KNWD Radio has been serving the NSU campus and surrounding community over the airwaves on 91.7 FM with a variety of programming ranging from alternative rock to political talk shows. With its top priority always being serving the students of NSU, KNWD has constantly strived to find ways to do this better. In the fall of 2012, Tara Luck, the incoming general manager of KNWD at the time, had a vision for the student-run radio station that would help bring it into the 21st century and up to modern-day radio standards. With a strong staff working alongside her, the station began working on making KNWD bigger and better. One of the things that KNWD has tried to bring back to the students of Northwestern is an annual music and arts festival, which has been dubbed Demon Fest. 
This year, Demon Fest took place on March 23rd and consisted of over 10 live performing acts, various vendors, a handful of student organizations, and numerous free giveaways provided by KNWD. Music began at 11.30 in the morning and lasted until roughly 9 o'clock that evening with the band Super Water Sympathy, a band based out of Shreveport, wrapping up the festival with a lively and energetic performance. As KNWD continues to evolve, big plans for improvements are being put into place that are scheduled to take place over the summer of 2013. The next general manager, Daniel Thiels, plans to carry out these plans over the next summer and have a newly renovated studio ready for the fall 2013 semester. Some of these plans include renovating and rearranging the studio, upgrading equipment, and streamlining the operations of the studio. Well, uh, this summer we're going to start renovating the studio. First, we're going to um, we're going to replace the flooring and everything. The carpet's very old. Uh, then we're going to upgrade some of the recording equipment in our studio so we can have uh, digital recording that we're going to start doing next year um, so we can have professional sounding audio quality. Um, we're going to renovate the playlist for the studio and have music cycle out every week to keep things uh, fresh and exciting and everything. And we're really going to try to uh, bring more campus events through the radio station to campus. With all the new and exciting changes coming to the student-run radio station, the university and surrounding community are preparing to receive a newly revamped KNWD 2.0. This is Daniel Thiels reporting for NSU News. The spring semester is almost over, but students here at NSU are already making plans for the summer. School is coming to an end, and students tell what their summer plans are. For the summer, I plan on actually building a castle in Natchez. Uh, we do a thing called SEA, which is Society of Creative Anachronism, and we're going to try and move two major events with BAM and Havoc over to our Glen Aubin, Glen Aubin Kingdom. So we're going to build a castle and try to, you know, move events over and just make it a little bit more fun for students that like to attend SEA here at Nac or Northwestern. So they can just go and join and they don't have to drive like to different states. And my only real plans over the summer is to uh, work on a new album. This summer I plan on working here in Natchitoches at NSU as a student athletic trainer working with basketball camps and helping out with the football workouts and at the end of July I will be starting with the football camps. It's hectic, there's people everywhere but it's what I want to do. So. And over the summer, I plan to just stay here and work out with the football team. I take a few classes, knock some of them out, um, be working up here a lot at the school for the radio station, um, helping renovate it and everything, and then just getting ready for next semester. And this summer, I plan on getting a pretty good job and saving up money to come back to school next year. Over the summer, I plan on working and partying. Mostly working, though. So I will be doing a freshman connection sessions with the incoming 2013 freshmen. And then I'll also be working the NSU dance and cheer camps. So I'll pretty much be working for NSU my whole summer. For the summer, I am going to be working two jobs and I have an internship with a radio station in Alexandria. Over the summer is probably some summer classes and working, you know, trying to make some money for school. That's about it. This is Jessica Blow with your NSU News. So, Michael, when can we look forward to the next Lady Demon softball game? This weekend, and we'll have more when we return. Looking for a way to stay healthy and get into shape? Then come and join NSU's Wellness Recreation and Activity Center. The rack contains two large gyms for basketball, volleyball, and badminton, racquetball courts, free weight room, strength and cardio rooms, group exercise room and an indoor track. The rack has a fully staffed service center and will serve all of your health needs. Come and start your lifestyle change today at the NSU Rack. Through these doors are some of the nation's top cadets in the Army ROTC program. Northwestern State University prides itself on having a ROTC program that ranks among the top 10% in the nation. Through learning the importance of education, discipline, and leadership, these cadets are in the right place to start a lifetime of excellence. Northwestern State University's Army ROTC program, pushing past the standards to greatness. The Watson Memorial Library on the edge of campus provides students with not only a vast variety of books, 
but also caters to many of their other needs. The library provides an ideally perfect atmosphere with its peaceful study environments, study tools, media center, and a vast array of books for both school and pleasure. The library staff is there to help students with all their questions and needs. The Watson Memorial Library is a perfect place to become the best student you can be. KNWD is back and better than ever with more shows and more music that you can't find anywhere else on the dial. So if you're ready for a break from the other guys, tune into 91.7 FM, The Demon. And we're always looking for energetic voices. So stop by room 109 Kaiser and pick up an application and get ready to rock. KNWD 91.7, The Demon. Welcome back, Demon fans. I'm Michael Johnson, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. SFA is dust under the rug as the Lady Demon softball team sweep the Lumberjacks and Nacogdoches this past weekend for the third straight time, with the final score being 12 to nothing on Sunday. Junior infielder Tara McKinney started the route with a single out to center field, followed by another single by sophomore infielder Brittany Virgo. Strong hitting junior infielder Brianna Rodriguez had three RBIs with a shot to left field. Sophomore catcher Cassandra Bearfield hit a run over center wall and picked up two RBIs on a double. The route continued with junior infielder Callie Burke having an RBI to center left field and freshman outfielder Natalie Landry scoring two runs as the Demons were too much for the Lady Lumberjacks. Senior pitcher Kylie Ruse improved her record to 11-2 after throwing five complete innings, striking out four, and allowing four hits. The Lady Demons are 31-10 overall and have a conference record of 12-5. Up next is a three-game series versus Houston Baptist starting Saturday at 3 p.m. at the Lady Demon Diamond in Natchitoches. The Demon baseball team played host to Louisiana Tech on Tuesday night, but were unable to send the Bulldogs home with the loss, losing 3-1. They tried to get back on the winning ways last night, finish up a cage, finishing up a game with ULL Raging Cajuns, a game that started on April 10th, but was called due to rain. Well, the nice weather last night did not help the Demons as they go down to the Cajuns 12 to nothing. They now turn their attention to Lamar University as they come into Friday night for a three-game weekend series. Winners come in a dozen as NSU track and field team had 12 top three performers at the McNeese State Springtime Classic last Saturday at the Cameron Communications Track and Field Complex. Senior in throws Janae Allen, freshman in throws Rochelle Bezard, and freshman in jumps Lionel Ellison shined with Allen leading the way by finishing in, all, in the top two in all three of her events. The senior set a personal record in the hammer throw with the mark of 174-8, placing second. She also won the discus with the throw of 162 and finished in the shot put after throwing for 46-8. Other top performers for the Demons are sophomores Jessica and Jerrica Tillery, Emmanuel and Aaron Williams, Albert Gladney, and senior Wayne Douglas. The NSU track teams will compete in two meets this weekend as they travel to southeastern Louisiana on Friday and LSU on Saturday. Close call for comfort as the Lady Demons tennis team beat McNeese 4-3 to close out the season. Senior Andrea Nedarostova led the way again with the third set tiebreakers in the last two matches. The Lady Demons approved to 11-7 overall and 6-3 in conference before heading into the Southland Conference Tournament, which will begin next Thursday in Beaumont, Texas. Don't forget that this Saturday at noon is the football spring game. Admission is free, so come out and see what the new coaching staff has put together for the oncoming Demon season. And remember, for all of your Demon sports coverage, make sure you go to NSUDemons.com to get game recaps, schedules, and more from our sports information department. And that will do it for your Demon Sports Blitz. I'm Michael Johnson. And that's going to do it for this edition of NSU News. This is also our last newscast of the semester, and we would like to thank the students of COM 3440, 4420, and 4470 for all of your hard work this semester to make our newscast a success. I'm Olivia Marzell. And I'm Brandi Vincent. We would also like to thank David Antilli for all of the hard work that he does to keep us on the air and for putting us on YouTube. 
I'm Brandi Vincent from all of us here at NSU News. Have a great night and good luck with finals in the upcoming weeks.